Today I'm going to show you how to draw a rabbit and also paint it with watercolor. First, I'm going to think about what is the big shapes composed a rabbit. First, let's think about as a body, right? The body is really big. I'm going to put it over here and I want to fill it with the entire page. So the pencil I'm using to start this drawing is a 6H. It's a very hard. I'm going to talk to you about how to pick the different pencils at different part of the drawing process. I'm going to make the head a little bit bigger and I can draw a little bit lighter. This pencil is very light and I'm going to have the ear coming here. That's good. And not the ear on this side. And you can also change this if you want. I think I'm going to change it. I'm going to move it a little bit lower. With a hot pencil like this, you don't want to press it too hard under the paper because it could make a very deep indentation into the paper surface. In that case, and you hardly can erase that. Okay, I'm going to make it a little soft like that. Just get an idea and the body right over here like this. Let's curve a little bit. Draw a little bit more. I'm going to move it a little bit higher like that. That's good. And the front of the rabbit. So let's see. I'm going to put the front over here. And then the front leg is right over here. Like that. And a little bit, the back leg right over here. And there's a little, the knee, the elbow is over here. Here you go. Understand the structure of the animal. It will help us to see a little bit better. You still need to see it, pay attention to it, but understand the structure. It will make you see a little bit better, faster. Okay, like that. So. This is how we use uh, this harder pencil. Try to draw uh, the overall structure, the overall connection. Like that. That's good. Uh, now I want to use the needy eraser. If you don't have one, it's good to have one. Uh, it's very easy to pick up the pencil mark. Here you go. I'm going to remove some of the light pencil like that. Very easy. That's good. Like that. And then I'm going to use a very dark pencil to draw the details before I do the painting. This is a 8B. You see that? 8B. It's very dark. You see the tip over here. Now, here you go. Now I'm going to start from the head. I'm going to start over here. And if I want, I can push it a little bit darker or I'm going to let it a little bit lighter like that, right? So at the front over here, here you go. Move it a little bit round because I see the other side. Now at the bottom over here, I can make it a little bit darker like that, like that. So you see the roundness and I'm going to continue with this ear coming up like this. Like that. Here you go. Move a little turn and coming in like that. Here we go. Now I finish one ear. Now I come to the other side. Uh, the ear over here. And make a little turn like this. Like that. And that's good. I have two ear together. We come back for the eye later. I'm going over here. And make a little uh, like a dotted line and showing a little bit soft here. And now I'm going to come to the back, continue and make a little curve coming down a little bit more rounded like that is good. All right, it's very strong line. Now coming here, I'm going to at the front over here, I'm going to put a little bit dark 
because it actually is a very soft uh, fur uh, edge. I'm going to put over here and coming down. Now you got to pay attention to the legs should be like this. And again, I'm going to take a picture of my drawing and upload it to my website, the enjoyingart.com. I know I have the download link in the video description of this video. So you can download it if you want to follow the drawing. Draw slowly, okay? And you can follow the step in this video and look at my pencil drawing and a little dot like that, that's good. Coming over here and I have a little bit but the a very round tail like that. Okay, now it's good. And under the head, have a little bit coming up like that. That's good. That's interesting. Look at the nose. And if you want some more challenge, more complicated uh, watercolor painting, you should go to my another channel called Enjoying Art. You just go, I have the link in the video description for you. And also you can type the URL. The address is youtube.com slash enjoying art. It's very easy. In the middle over here, I'm going to mark a little bit. That's the highlight for the eye. So this is good. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit few dot over here like that. That looks good. And I'm going to have the cast shadow area. It says put a soft mark over here. And then we are ready to paint. Okay, now I'm going to finish this artwork with watercolor. This brush is uh, Paul Rubens Squirrel Hair brush. It's very soft, wet the brush. Now I'm going to see, I'm going to start mix a little bit brown color. So I only use these three colors. I call it primary color. Red, yellow, and blue can mix any color I need for the painting. I'm going to take a little blue color because I want it to be a little bit more brown color. Get a little bit yellow, a little red, and a little blue. Now I'm going to start with this color first and maybe on the body. And then I'm going to have a little bit darker color for the head like that. Okay, I'm going to leave the area around the eye, still a little bit lighter. Uh, the ear over here, the majority of the place is used the same color, like that. Okay, the front over here, and come to the nose and the face. You see this brushed, keep lots of, lots of color. Okay, that's good. Now coming here. Now, I'll try to make this painting look very easy and not too complicated. So now I'm going to mix a little bit more color. I get a little bit yellow and a little blue color. Here you go. Now I'm going to come here a little bit darker and a little bit yellow. Mix it into that. Just the three colors together. I'm going to have it like that and over here a little bit darker and I'm going to do a little blending. I'm going to show you how to blend and at the bottom over here and then what I want, I'm going to just wash it with the water and I'm going to just softly blend the color over. Here you go, like that. Very soft and over here blend it a little bit over like that. And the bottom over here, I'm going to have a little bit gray color. So in this case, I just add a little blue color and it will be fine like that. And also make it look like a rounded. So the bottom 
it has a little bit darker color. That's good. I'm going to have this color, also this gray color. I'm going to put it in the E over here. Like that. That's a little bit over here too. And also I'm going to have this gray color get a little bit blue. And a little bit red. A little bit more blue. There you go. I'm going to have it a little bit more shadow under here so I can show it turning around right it looks much three-dimensional that's good and then on the same thing over here there's this actually shadow shadow can be a little bit darker so I'm gonna have a little bit blue color coming here like that that's good I'm gonna have a little bit brown color and I'm gonna put it right in here tap 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 the color Make a little bit darker, a little bit yellow here too. Now, make this a little bit darker. And it's okay. And this can be a little bit darker as well. That's good. Now for the face, I also going to soften it. So I'm gonna have the color, let it a little bit softer. So one of the watercolor uh, feature it's just so easy you can blend the color put the color together I'm gonna make this a little bit brighter a little bit red oh this is actually a good color but a little bit more yellow a little bit more like orange color now I'm gonna put this color over here Ooh, it looks good and the face that looks good like that a little bit on the ear and on the back over here, now I'm going to give a little bit color, a little bit darker here. That's good. Like that. It's a little bit darker on the body. That's good. Now I'm going to get a little bit yellow. I'm afraid it's too much, but they're going to see. Like that. So I'm going to keep the color just like that. Okay, now for now I'm going to come to give a little shadow, catch the shadow on the ground. I'm going to have a little gray color, use a little blue just between those three colors. And by the shadow, usually have a little bit more uh, blue color in the three. Okay, like that. And a little bit over here. And maybe also a little bit here. Like it. I'm going to use the water, make it a little bit softer at the edge, like that, that's good. Now the party over here, I'm going to use a bamboo stick, uh, the skill stick, and you can just put it on the body, just move it, you see that? When I have this, I actually, I uh, make the surface, it's still wet here, and actually create the illusion of the hair. I can see that have the hair look like uh, this area a little bit darker and this bamboo stick has no color it just press on to the paper like that if the color already dry it won't have any effect okay that's good now I'm going to come back to the front over here. I want to see a little bit shadow and see that a little shadow over here. Okay, a little bit cooler than the shadow like that. So you see a little bit turning. Okay, now at the front of the face, I'm going to make it even darker like that that's good I'm gonna make this a little bit darker and that's good the bottom over here a little bit darker I just get the blue color and the red color there's two color together make it really dark okay you probably notice I actually don't use black uh, when I really painting watercolor okay 
and I'm going to remove the water from the brush. It's just going to move that a little bit lower. And the front of the cast shadow here, I'm going to have a little bit more blue color, a little bit darker, like that. A little bit blue. Here you go, like that. You have it. It's still pretty wet over here. So just tap the color on it and the color would fade into each other. I'm going to use this small calligraphy brush. It's very, very sharp. I'm going to use the red and the blue color together. Now let's see. We're just going to paint into the eye. Start from the top over here. Have a little bit more blue and the top and the lower, I have a little bit uh, brown color. Like that. Now I'm going to wash my brush. So I'm going to get a little yellow, a little red, right? and get a little bit blue. That is how you make the brown color. Now I'm going to put it right under here, like that. And that is very nice. You probably have an old tool brush. I want to show you how to use it. I want to make some dots on the ground. So I'm going to take this red with the blue color together, which just looks like a little bit uh, gray purple color. I'm going to show you. Ready? So now it looks like the ground, a little bit dusted. I'm going to have the little gray color for the swiggers. Like that. Now it's your turn. And tell me in the comment, what is your favorite animal?